So when you arrive in the smoke, I think the first thing that you should do is, is take a deep breath. <laughs> this sort of technological interaction with a large, massive community can be intimidating. Um, so give yourself space to do it at a pace that makes sense to you. Learning is not comfortable. Learning is a space of excitement, it's a space of awe, it's a space of discovery. But when we sit with that long enough, what we often see is that what we don't know, what we're scared of, is exactly the thing that we most need. Start finding signs of life. Start finding things that inspire you. Start finding people that excite you. Start finding ideas that bring your own ideas to life. A MOOC for me doesn't work, doesn't succeed, if there aren't people in it that you make real human connections with. And that's like that, like you're sitting in an audience at a Shakespeare play and there's a hum in the room. Find the space in the MOOC where you feel that hum. The best way to go into Shakespeare and begin to understand him on, on its most basic level is by saying those words out loud. It is a language that is different from our own and one of the things you need to do is find your way into that language. And there's something about that process of being reduced to the first conditions of learning where everything is new and you have to struggle where potential opens up that you wouldn't have otherwise. Take little pieces at a time and to focus particularly on the less exciting words. Even just how they feel in your mouth, the word greed kind of makes you smile. If you're a, if you're a, a, a Richard, you know, Richard III and you're a villain and you say the word greed, you know he enjoys that word, but you won't know that until you say it out loud, until it changes your mouth and your face and your heart eventually. Don't be anxious because he's a fantastic writer, he's a crass writer, he's a hilarious writer. Enjoy it and you'll get to parts that you don't understand. Shakespeare teaches us that learning, education, is a process of watching and, and, and receiving. Shakespeare doesn't exist on a page, it doesn't exist on the stage, it exists when we bring it to life by having conversations about it. In a lecture format, you the students sit there as the empty vessel and I pour the info in. We're not going to be doing that in this MOOC. In this MOOC, we're going on a journey together. There is no Shakespeare's Shakespeare. There's only your Shakespeare.